in the overtime win against Akron. There are some really talented dudes on the floor. And Bala yeah. played for Chris Beard at Texas Tech. And here goes Preston hanging just outside of the lane. Yeah, Preston and Vanderplas are playing off each other. They're dangerous. He almost just skidded into Lake Erie off that charge, by the way. That was a slip and slide reaction as Preston misses the look for three. And here comes Janae went to his mother, Judith, yep. who passed away when he was a junior in high school. She died of cancer when Jason was a junior. They were so close. And there he is going to work. I mean, she was the one that bought him a bet looking to play the angle. And here he goes in a two-man game. Wilson was denied. This is Preston off the baseline to fill it up. I mean, Buffalo's not a great three-point shooting team. They're about 150th in the country. They don't get a lot of their points from that. As Vanderplas oh boy. sets up Preston, who was willing to shoot from the shores of Lepin. If you jump back, you can take that ball away as he makes his turn. Maybe you got to travel, too, while you're at it, right? Yes. Pull the chair. There's Preston parachutes another one in. Jason Swagger. The question is, how do you do that if you can't stop them defensively, though? And here goes Preston again. Missed the runner. Rebound for Fagan. Well, why not jump? Buffalo's missed yeah. nine of their last ten shots. Ohio's done a good job of sagging back as Jason Preston just continues to get where he wants. But Ohio teams, when they're playing really well, that's what they have. Right now, Ohio has it. Nice closeout by Skoglin on Vanderplas. This is Preston to bag another three. I'm telling you, defensively, I don't know how. They could be a 13-14 type seed line, and that's where they've won games yeah. from in the past. Oh, oh back wow. cut, and Preston scores. Wow. Wow. As waxing a Buffalo team they lost to by 20 in late February. Preston. Talk about confidence. That hit the back iron and the rebound for Graves. Ah, but that team is going to be loaded for years to come. That freshman class is outstanding. Vanderplas set up Preston. Oh, dueling geez. open looks and Preston sinks it. Attacking the game and taking the rhythm and flow away. Not only is it a harder game to play, it's less fun for us to watch. Absolutely. That was the toughest possession Preston's had all night. Graves was out. Mm -hmm. We saw Granger, by the way, on the bench. He's got four fouls, so he is back in his role as leader of the bench energy as Preston turns the corner and scores for Ohio. We're playing a ball strip. Can't play not to lose. Keep your foot on the gas, and this kid knows how to do it. Preston wants a goaltend. He's not going to get it. Graves. Oh, Buffalo is 299th in the country. Ohio's 210th. I mean, you almost have to try to be that bad. Oh, great cut. And Preston and Ohio make it an eight. Plus, get the ball down low. He's a very good passer of the post. I don't like people going to the three-pointer right off the bat. Right on Jason. Unless you're Jason Preston. Unless you're Jason Preston. Barry's the trip. Done better this year. Uh, he's always been able to shoot the three, but he's distributed the basketball and got more players involved. Preston from way outside fills it. Nothing but the bottom of the net there from Jason Preston. There's, it's interesting. He says every time he goes into Convocation Center, the Convo, as they say at Ohio University, um, he goes in and looks at the banners. And so this tournament is like the biggest thing. Now, early, he's been able to get in the paint, use his athletic ability to get to the rim. Preston. Preston moves uh, just aren't there based on on his upbringing and and his life experiences and those are some of the things he's trying to learn as Preston with the tape inside lays it up and in for Ohio and lost a wheel there and on the shoes with his foot but it, it does speak to the fact that Preston focused you know didn't worry about that he, he focuses around the basket and he is very good as he drops the Another three. Jackson hits just his second field goal, his second three. He's got six. Preston with a head of steam to the bucket. Off the window and in for Jason Preston. 15 for him. 10. No. Preston on the break. Two on one. Can't finish. Preston with the tip. Can't get it. Ball is loose. Granger. He can't finish. And the rebound. Find their sight set on Indianapolis. And right now, I think Toledo needs... 
to, to figure out which way they're going offensively. And they got to figure out something on Preston because he has been outstanding. He's got 18 points in the first and middle there. It's a fresh 20 here for the Bobcats. They get it up here to Jason Preston. Preston, long range three off the heel. No, another offensive rebound though for Ohio. Toledo has got to do a better job of boxing out. They, that's nine offensive rebounds. Uh, Preston, spin move to the cup. Puts it up and in. He's got 20. Preston bringing it way out. 13 on the shot clock as Preston drives again. Good balance shot off the window. No offensive rebound, though. Wilson can't finish. You can see why you don't sleep on Toledo, because just like that, a couple threes are back in the game. Preston with the quick take and puts it up and in for the three. Jason Preston now with 23 points. Number five. Rollins picking up his third foul there. Preston takes it inside. And the teardrop shot comes up short. Jackson, volleyball spikes it there, trying to cut. Preston with seven on the shot clock. Round the screen. It's going to take one from long range. In and out that time. Vanderpoff with the offensive rebound. Score the basket and nothing. Preston. Nice footwork there. Find some room in the lane. Spins, turns, fires, can't get it to go. Knocked out of there. there are two 80 point teams here. Two teams in the high 70s coming up a little bit later. You know, and right now, under eight, I mean, this is when you got to make sure you get those rebounds. Box out. They're looking to get the ball inside of Wilson. He's got a distinct advantage over Littleson down low. Preston with the left hand, takes it to the cup, puts it in. Jason Preston. Jason Preston. The rebound Milner, the putback is good. 84-76. Preston out of the open floor, takes it to the rim, and just lays it up and in. Back to 10 with 39.3 to go. I tried to turn that corner was Malik Jacobs. He lost it. Preston. That floater is pure. Real nice job of trailing the play. Ohio shoots 9 of 14, so 64% from the field, but 7 turnovers mm. for the Bobcats early on. How good's Jason Preston? Just flying to the rim. I'm gliding to the junior for the Ohio Bobcats. Mm. Vanderplas got a rip away. Preston on the hurry. Count that! Oh, oh, oh. oh baby, he pulled that off his... The kick out from McDay to Preston, who will bury a three. Great ball movement. Sharing the basketball, moving in. Loss. Dave, what do you see as the, uh, you know, the, the biggest impact that Kent State's going to have to make as their defense allows Jason Preston to strongly go to the floor? Malik Jacobs averaged uh, almost 10 a game. Preston. Mm. Gorgeous with a left hand high off the window. So there are guys that have gone on to major Division I programs that have coached in that conference. It's good basketball. How about that backdoor oh look? Ben Vanderplas sizzled a rocket. They get each of our answers from some of them. Roderick off to spin. That's Jason Preston. <laughs> the sweet stroke, the three. What a player. For track meet style tempo, you would Change expect direction, to see. Change direction, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. He's, he's just going to be able to kind of, I don't want to say, and it's not its not that he's not going to play hard. It's just you're moving at a different pace. You can even see. With Mark Sears on the floor, gives Jeff Bowles one more passer against this zone as well, too. That's And that's what you want to do. You want to move the basketball, force that defense to rotate, and then find some pockets to settle in against that defense. And yeah, to your point, too, Marty, about the, the restrictions, I mean, you know, all the challenges that, that coaches and players have had to endure this year, you finally get on the floor and still can't go to full capacity. It's just... ...ball then forcing a hell ball, and the possession arrow favors Ohio. That's one of the things, the attributes that Colin Granger brings. He's certainly not the most polished guy offensively yet, but those intangibles... But still 10 seconds to go there on the shot clock. Gross the rebound for Eastern Michigan as the Eagles attempt to claw even closer. But they really force you to, again, out of your rhythm, and it's... It goes to Preston, counter down a foul. Yeah, just much more deliberate here in the last two minutes for Ohio. Passing extraordinary. Look at the, the run down here. Great play by... Hook in the lane, and Ohio pushes the lead back to 13. 
Vanderplas with his sixth assist of the day. Preston, oh, by the way, has 10 assists today. Preston with 10, Vanderplas with six. And protecting the basketball while splitting the defense and you know, what, what he makes look so easy is, is, is really not. And just using his athleticism and again, using that line to the right. Josh Wetzel, the radio voice of the Buffalo Bulls, says his ceiling is very high and it's 21-11 UAB. That's found money, a 6'10 redshirt freshman. Preston tries to answer and can't. Rondo misses that. Rinaldo Rondo Segu. Preston all the way into the post. Scoutman stayed there. Imbala has 12. Vanderplas on the rebound. A little bit of a block. Imbala goes down. Can Ohio get an odd man rush going? Preston on the right side. Three. Bang for Jason. Pre for the Bulls. Roderick tries for another one. But Sears soars through for the board. Every possession here is critical, and the Cats find another. Williams short, nice job in the paint defensively by Roderick. Jonathan Williams is one of eight shooting the ball. Someone gets a gold star for that after this game, win or lose for Ohio. Preston stops on a dime and floats it. Averaging 18 points per game, he's got another year. Everybody does, but can you imagine him as a senior? You're going to have some guys put up huge career numbers that started four and five years. What a pass. I mean, good effort, but you're not moving the number enough. We haven't seen a lot of point touches for Wilson in this winning streak for Ohio. Out high to set up some room. Preston could. Nice piece. Been a lot of use defensively against Wilson for Ohio tonight. Ohio trying to steady the ship, trying to get back into the game. That was a big punch they threw to start off half two. In some room. Everything's just been so congested. Ends up with McDay. Back to Preston, got a good bit short. And Buffalo out there running some twos. And again, at what point do you just uh, pull back and say we need to rest some guys, whether you're up or down in this game, knowing you have two more games coming in less than a week. Preston. Good patience here for the Bobcats in the early going. Nice little runner there by Preston. Gets his first attempt of the game. And that's what you're going to On top by seven in the early go. Vanderplas, what's well, an excellent pass back to Preston off the inbound who floated it home. Yeah, nice job of getting it as opposed to the Bobcats securing the ball and going in transition. And Enrique Freeman is going to be so vital to this uh, front court. Jason Preston just lighten up that from side to side. Beautifully done. Now, Preston uh, went deep in that corner, and Preston got an offensive board, got another offensive board, and floated it home. Yeah, there's really nothing Lauren Christian Jackson could do there on the... For the accurate bucket. Yeah, it's just been that kind of afternoon. They're working hard, trying to create opportunities. Ball just bouncing Akron's way. Preston gave it up, and uh, that's the big fella, Dwight Wilson. It's kind of a forced jump shot there from Brian Trimble. Yeah, they're really coming out, though, and hard hedging on those ball screens. Preston quick there. triggered, yeah. But you can tell offensively, and these guys have really responded here at home. Yeah. Mentioned Trimble out of Kansas City, but uh, played at St. John's to begin his college hoop career. Now Preston can't connect. There where they've been effective at drop-stepping and getting to the rim. Zips wanted contact. Now Preston's got to run out. Jason Preston, that's a couple of quick buckets by Ohio to get back to within 15. And from long range today, shooting the three very well as a team. Here again, Vanderplas. Preston's going to unload it. Nope. And now that Ohio foul is himself hiding behind that bottom layer of the defense. And Preston turned. Attack there, no whistle. Still, Jason Preston took the contact. Good job of playing the ball off the rim and easy collect and put back. Preston on the runner and he got that to drop. And quickly there, you know, now. Career was voted Ohio's Division II Co Player of the Year and a two time first team performer at Trotwood. Here's Wilson again making his presence felt inside. He'll get an and off the dribble because of that rotation and length. 
uh, that they can make up for it and really just try to force Cleveland State to play a little bit fast and a little bit out of character, and that's what we saw in that turnover on the last possession. Cleveland State here with different guys that can not just score the basketball but contribute in various ways. Good things are going to happen. The off-balance runner counts, and Preston will head to the free throw line as the Bobcats are starting to bust the call inside on Cleveland State. What a tremendous job of defense on that possession by Wilson in the inside. First, he does some low block defense to really get the defense out of position. Then it's disrupted. Seven assists and four rebounds. Talking about his turnover number as he drives to the basket and gets the floater to fall. That's something he has a patent on in his handed lead from McDay. The left-handed finish by Jason Preston. Just good job in transition. That's the chemistry, understanding. Understanding against the, the transition game about a sort of play at the offensive end. This is just continues to pour on as Preston connects on his 12, or excuse me, 11 and 12 points of the game. Uh, suddenly in double figures, Jason Preston today with that. As the Aggie showed some full court pressure there. The feed inside to a cutting Preston. He lays it up and in to open the scoring. Two nothing Bobcats, 50 seconds into the ball game. Home state. Did not play yesterday because of an ankle injury. Here's McDay, gives it off to Preston. Deep three from the right, rims down. Nine, nothing, Bobcats. 16-36 to put. Floats it over to the far side, he's got Roderick. Now Brown along the left, back to Preston straight away. Deep three on the way is no good. This one found underneath by Miguel. Quinton Jones will grab it instead. Here comes Harris on that far side. Gets it over to Roderick, that triple no good. Wilson with the rebound, finds Preston straight away. Three is short. Another long rebound, this time taken by May. Passes out ahead to Dueling. The runner, top of the key. Looking to the right side, down the lane. The runner will go around the cup and down. Here's from the Aggies bench. Here's McDay towards the hole. Stops, bounce pass out to Preston. Right back court. Three is good. 41-38. Saves it and it's taken by Wilson. Back the other way come the Bobcats. Here's Preston. Goes up. Contact, no foul. Wilson can't finish. Still bouncing around. And it's waved off and we have... Long toss. Preston gets it back right wing. That three is long. Wilson grabs it. Tries to find a cutting McDay. He can't. Swings it over to Preston. He crosses the timeline. He's wide open straight away. And misses the rebound taken by McDay, right elbow. Preston in the lane, the teardrop goes. And he goes, puts up the runner as he fell backwards. And now Preston has a breakaway. Towards the hole, he lays it up and in, old school style, down off the square on the window. Tried to drop it off for Jones, he didn't get there in time. And now Vanderplas. He's on the two-on-one, leaves it for Preston, finishes, and draws the foul. And things have fallen into the Bobcats. Bounce pass to Preston, he's beyond the arc right. Holds up from downtown and drains the bucket, he was wide open. And that should just about do it from here. Coach Bowles not happy with that. Eight points away for Io Dosumu from the 1,000 point club as Jason Preston hits the three. See, Ohio likes to run a lot. The Gator breathable. The visor, perhaps easier to manipulate. Yeah, and he said he, said he likes the visors because the players can see him, how upset he is. <laughs> Ask at the officials. Preston trying to work around that screen for Wilson. Preston inside. Oh. And Jason Preston getting it done, a 7-4 Ohio lead. Well, that's a great team in the country. you got to have everything in your disposal. Preston back to work. He'll launch from deep, and he'll hit from deep. That's eight already for Jason Preston. Take smaller guys into the paint. We saw him shoot over Xavier's, uh, Xavier Simpson last year to win at Michigan. So he can do it all. Preston trying to get onto the rim, and Dosuma was on him. Out from the guard position. Here's Jason Preston. Eight points early for Ohio. Tough catch and shoot, and the rebound to guess who, Demonte Williams, from the guard position. Play. Seeing a lot of unforced turnovers by the Illini, trying to do too much for Bello and Miller right now. Oh, Preston 
every angle he has tried today. And here the Ohio bench in this empty arena. Not exactly encouraging Georgie on the free throw misses. And that'll be a goaltend on Coburn. Preston now with 12. And this will give it back to Preston. He's had the hot hand with 12 first half points for Ohio. Preston. Floater from the foul line. A little strong. And Frazier the rebound. That's great defense by I. I'm okay with that shot. That's a high percentage shot from 16 feet. Preston. Oh, a little hesitation, and he gets to the rim. He is going to cause Mac team's problems this year. Shanish Billy, and it's taken away. Vanderplas with the steal. Here comes Preston. The pull up leaning three is good, and Ohio takes a 31 to three. We're set. Ohio run that a couple times with success early in the game. Preston, a little bobble. Three on the shot clock. Going to have to force this one up, and the air ball is a shot clock violation. Illinois with excellent deep. Nosugu inside, lost the handle on the ball. Ohio trying to knot this one up with Preston high off the glass. Good no call by the official. playing, Stephen, like a guy with two fouls. No, and, and that's the beauty of having a veteran handling the rock like that. Really wild as he turned the corner there, and Grant is very fortunate that he won a whole lot of back and forth. Here's Preston curling. The runner oh, is good. 22. And Steven, it feels like every bucket he's. Here's Preston. Only two points in the second half after a 20 point first half. Tough shot for Preston. That almost went in. Williams cleans it off the glass. Fired up. And Preston, just two second half points so far. Trying to change that, and he does. Got it through Dosumu and around Coburn. That's an itch for the Illini. Here's Preston. Trying to get it going. Tough shot. Won't go this time. Wilson with the offensive board. He'll have to back it out. 20 points in three straight games. He needed all 20 points here this afternoon and will likely need more. Because Preston going to work, and it's a one-point game again. Drew two defenders down, gave enough space for Trent to get a clean look. Preston, tough one on the baseline. Coburn the rebound. 5.47 to go. Though. What an impressive player. Preston driving against Coburn. That won't go. And Williams the rebound. Frazier, quick ahead to Dosumu. Pull up jumper in transition. No, long pass ahead to Preston. Doesn't have numbers, oh. doesn't care as he gets the roll, and it's a two-point game. Royal, here they, they got Kofi in the in the ball screen. Here's Preston working. Preston leaning, wrestles it up and in. Ohio by one. What's Looking back at the keys to victory? Marshall must manage their turnovers as Jason Preston weaves into the lane, swatted by Williams, and up ahead to Kinsey. Committed only, excuse me, single-digit turnovers only three times over their final 15 games last season. As that one offline, offensive board and put back up and in off the fingertips of Jake. Preston backs West down, tries to just throw one up toward the cup. It won't go. Byers quickly out to West and Marshall. The far side short corner to Vanderplas. Nice find to Preston from the corner. That one too strong. Poor shooting half continues. One for Feo has a chance to push it up and close this gap. It's an eight-point lead for Marshall. Deep three from the logo, and Jason Preston gets it to go. A vote. Close the gap heading into the locker room. Back to Preston. Three on the way. Good. Jason Preston's on fire. Eight point. Shot clock down to four. Vanderplas shot fake. Has to put it up right at the buzzer. And Preston drills it as the shot clock expires. 11 points in the opening half for Ohio. They said that the Bobcats had to spread the love as Preston lobs it to the rim. Nine assists for Ohio. Deep three on the way. That one won't go. 
into the hands of Anachili Killen. Be on the day. Preston tries to scoop layup, no good. Three on two break to Kim. Wilson rips it through. That one won't go. Preston gets the miss and one. Jason Preston heading to the line. Looking at Falcons. Six-year head coach Michael Huger returns three starters, six total players from last year. That includes graduate senior Justin Turner, a 2020 MAC preseason. First in points for Jason Preston as Miles Brown stops on a dime. Deep three from Preston. That one rolls off the front iron, and it's good. Jason Preston with 60 seconds roughly remaining in this contest. Deep three from Preston. Misses everything. And that will go back in fit. On the baseline is off the mark by K.J. Walton. And Ohio will push back. Both these teams, losers in their last outing. McDay, the offensive rebound, and the follow up and good. London McDay. Bobcats up by seven. Straight on Preston three. And the rebound yanked out of the air by Bracken Hazen of Ball State. You can feel the energy. I got goosebumps just by the way they're playing. I mean, they're playing aggressive. The team is into it. Look at that backdoor play. Vanderplas, who comes into the game eighth in the Mac and assist with the good luck to Preston. Afternoon start. Yeah, he's a 6'8 redshirt senior. Good save by McDay. Finds the open Preston for the three. And the rebound yanked down by Myron Thomas along the baseline. Good position and a good strong pull by Thomas. Yeah, you can tell that this is a Ball State team that if they get hot, look out. Good steal there by Preston. He's going to yep. go the, coast to coast. He did a great job of shielding the ball, Jim, from El Amin and scoring. He is so good in the conference setup. They went 11 and 7. Preston's one-handed floater, and the rebound tipped into the hands of Kanai Agree into the game for Saga, Ontario in Canada. Nine-point Ohio lead at the seven-minute mark. Bounce pass, Preston gets free and leans in. Granger again battling inside for the miss, and the Aaron shot yanked down by Kanai Agree of by the Cardinals. Ohio with Preston, Sears, Roderick, Granger, and McMurray on the floor. Preston squares up and launches the three. McMurray the offensive rebound. And the foul ends into some trouble. So watch him kick it and reset and see what can happen. Roderick and Wilson out. Granger and McDay back for Jeff Bowles. That three off the mark. Sears right there to recover the loose basketball. Up at the three line. And, again, that's something Coach Bowles has got to be aware of. Lead at seven for Ohio as Preston weaves his way down the lane. The high glass finish is off the mark. Preston battles for his own miss. And El Amin came. Nine-point Ohio lead at 69-60. Preston floats across the baseline. Roderick catches, gives back to Preston. The three won't stay down. And coming away with the rebound is Teamu Suak. Defense by Mark Sears of Ohio and stepping in front of that. Preston with that patented slash down the lane, unable to get the glance off the glass to go. And, ball. and get the best shot available. This is a situation where they've done that. Vanderplas with a little head and shoulders. The give in the lane to Preston. Back iron the shot in the lane, but got his own miss inside, adjusts and draws contact. As much clock as they can, look for him to probably go at about eight, which they're doing now. Preston to the elbow, gets his own miss, and are you kidding me? <laughs> Jason Preston missed the shot, and as any good shot, under 10 on the shot clock, Preston being hounded out high. Trying to weave his way past defenders. The runner off balance and off the mark. Offensive rebound, McDay won't fall. And the loose ball corralled. Out of Trevon Broadway Jr., a guy that they rely on heavily at the offensive end. He scores nearly 17 points per game. Had just five at Kent on Saturday. Was only one for 12 from the floor. Off the... Bobcats looking for that first bucket. And Vanderplas, great find to Preston. Ahmed had good position. Granger just trying to use some of that weight and strength to move Muhammad out of the way. Got to give him credit. But how about that, that move and step back by Preston out on the perimeter? That was some special. Ohio scoreless over the last 90 seconds. Preston going right around Hodgson and drops it in. He looks so smooth out there, doesn't he? Average just around seven points per game has been tremendous, Sonarkino Davis. 
Preston off one foot, lobs it in. It's kind of low. That's his go-to move right around the bucket. Preston, tough shot, and Murray collects the loose ball. Drop, and so now, despite losses on the road and going 0-3 in that stretch, you kind of know the barometer now. You, there's a measuring stick out there. That's the best of the best. So you're talking too loud, you know? It's become the norm here in the 2020-21 season. Preston open for three, buries it. On well, the Chippewa sideline. Bench, they will get back to Preston eventually. That was a for forced turnover. Didn't turn into any points, but no, no need for that. Preston, short on the three, rebounded by Huffman, and he gets bumped. The offense with a great play. Our fifth tie of this game. Drop off for Preston. Wanted to tap it back in, but it hit rim. No points for CMU. After they came out hot, you know, came out 10, 12 points right away. Preston throws back his own miss. He's got 11. And determination and persistence, advantage in the rebounding category. Despite the 15 turnovers, they've shared the ball well. 13 assists and knocking down open looks. Another good look from the outside, but they have not. Half has gone exactly the way you wanted. You went into a bit of a lull at the end of the first half and the start of the second. But for the last 10, 11 minutes, you've done exactly what you want. And when you've got a guy like but you come back, stopping a score. That's all you can do at this point. A little full court press, beaten by the Bobcats. Preston, an easy bucket. It's so unselfish. It's Off the Vanderplas screen, five to go. Preston to the cup, and that's going to be a gold send on Besaint. For years, but you know Preston, kind of that unique primary ball handler, can play the one and the two. Preston weaving, crafting down towards the bucket. 17. Ball State. There's the triple double machine, Jason Preston. Point left for three. Rimmed it around and off, and it will stay on this side of the floor. With 10 to 17 shooting against the Zips. And the Broncos were up at halftime by seven. There was an 11 0 run at the end of the first half. Preston misses on the three. McDay couldn't corral the rebound. Broncos up high. And that was the first turnover of the game for either team, full six minutes into this thing. Clean so far. Sears, 12 points per game, four boards and a couple assists. In the MAC, Jason Preston just keeps on doing what he for laces. And we could all agree that cancer is just evil, and so that's a really good cause. A lot of gold in the building tonight. Preston misses there, but the long tip doesn't fall. And the Broncos have the ball down by four. They can be going. You're making enough threes to stay in this game. You're not getting bombed. You're not giving up any transition. Preston for a leaner that rolls around and off. Wilson trying to fight for the rebound, lost it. It will go to the Seaman. Coming up to the end of the timer. Jason Preston to the post and he banked it in. Ohio with its steal there and a miss and a tip up nearly inflated the 12 point lead up to 14. All right, he's gonna splash it down. That's game high honors with Wilson with 13. Preston uses the contact so well, Rob, and he finishes at Ohio. The Vanderplas showing you why he's such a high IQ player. Two chances at a block, and he went vertical both times to not foul. Oh, Preston hangs in the air and scores his first two of the game. There's a lot of teams that have a chance down the stretch. It's just gonna luck's gonna play such a part down the stretch for all these teams. Who can stay healthy? Who can stay on the court? As Preston missed the bank shot, grabbing the rebound, Wilson goes up strong and time. Three from the corner for Bruton, hit the side of the backboard. Preston on the run, one on one. Preston, Euro step to the rim, blocked away and out of bounds. Stays with Ohio. Preston really burst. Awkward sequence and a turnover. Run out for Preston to the rim and he lays it in. Timeout, Buffalo. That play where he really studied where the help was going to come from. Five points for Sagu. Preston off a screen, baseline jumper came up short. Out of bounds. Avon Graves, Buff Ohio will get one last shot. Two seconds left, Preston floater at the buzzer. Couldn't get the roll. 
that's the end of an entertaining first half. I don't think Preston would have said that was the best half he's played all season. He struggled a bit, especially turning the ball over. He has it blocked away there. Four on three break for Hardnett has not made a three-pointer this season. He's 0 for 3. Preston the open three. Long rebound run down by UB. And now more straight talk from Straight Talk. The big wireless companies will tell you they're the only way to get the best networks. Not true. Straight Talk Wireless runs on those same cell towers. Some terrific matchups tomorrow. We mentioned at the top that Jason Preston is one of only three players in the country averaging 15, 5, and 5. We'll see a great game. And that's the first one I scheduled. That's a, that's a 12 noon Alabama, Oklahoma. That's going to be a great one. The heart of college basketball season here in Buffalo. The Bulls on a 9 0 run. Open three. Strong offensive rebound by Williams. He's also from Rochester and he scores. And a timeout. Buff Just kind of flip it up fast. Nobody's going to think you're shooting the ball. But when you bring it up slow like Ben Vanderplas did, you're able to get yourself open. You look at the max standings. Question. It happens. But now Straight Talk Wireless has coverage for your phone with the new Platinum Unlimited plan, which includes Mobile Protect. Just 65 bucks a month for unlimited talk. Across all our networks tomorrow, culminating with these two major matchups on ESPN and the app. Number 15, Kansas, scores off number against number 18, Tennessee, in Knoxville at 6 Eastern, 5 Central. Corner threes, Brown and BVP. Vanderplas has five, and there's a steal. That's why Miles Brown's in there. Into Preston for a lay-in. It's good to have him back if you're a Bobcat fan, and that brings about a timeout for Rob Center. I thought better of it. Inching closer to four minutes without a field goal for Ohio. Preston tries to change it and bangs down a three. That's his 15th this year. That's his 16th really engaged defensively, and Preston needs help. Needs movement. Ends up with Jason. Steps in, steps back, and misses a three, and another board for Kent State. That's O'Neal. Yep. Drawn kick for a Turvel Beck jackpot three for the former running Rebel. And this is a 14-point lead for Kent State at halftime. And Ohio needs to, he would be the only one in foul trouble in a limited foul game. And a swipe by Roderick down the floor for Preston and rocks that rim with the right hand. He's not a dynamic, and you'd figure from beyond the long line. McDay decks it into the paint. Wilson with the re-rack. Preston for a point three. Ohio working hard on the boards, but just couldn't get that carom. Aim is 16. We'll see if Ohio can push a favorable pace. Preston with a bank off to that pain. Counted plus one. Again, he's so fast. The second half of that Toledo game, too many easy twos, and that looked like one of those. Kent State has filled the lanes very well today. Preston with a, a bit of a potential desperation three, trying to get his ball club back in. 14-point lead. Can D create O? It wasn't a lane to throw it to Preston on the drive, but he'll try to fire it up, and he bangs it down. Back-to-back -back bangs for the Bobs. Down by 11 with a and that's, 10 or more. That's been the difference this year. He always does manage to seem to get to 20 or close. Straight on Preston for three. Flies in for the board. That's what the flashes do normally. Ohio with an extra possession. Didn't finish. Wilson on the carom. That is his fifth board today. Sears finds Preston, who tries to pop it from deep, and bang, he sure did. It's down to eight. This is as close as Ohio. And a steal and an extra possession. And BVP couldn't connect. Ohio still playing here to their credit. And Preston bangs down to three. That's Ohio's 14th down the win. He couldn't on two free throws. 15 seconds left, Ohio down 10. And a sprint to the goal for a gentle dunk by Preston. It's down to eight. This is as close as all from their work on the boards. O boards to double their own possessions and D boards to end yours. Preston to finish it with a three that rimmed out. And we talked about momentum in the back. On Very active to start. That's a great sign. Yeah, I think he looks okay. Uh, so far, he's moving really well. And clearly, his vision has not slowed down. And his shot making Come on. has not stopped either. What a start. He's not just posting up on the block because he's got a mismatch. He's posting up as he gets a steal on the other end. And finishes off the glass. 
A 9-0 run for the... See how bouncy Preston is. He'll wait, he'll rock you. Never out of control. Rock you to sleep, won't he? Oh, just a little smooch off the square. Preston has... When they're clicking offensively, you gotta worry about Preston, you gotta worry about Sears, you gotta worry about Wilson down low, Vanderplas. I mean, just like that, it doesn't it doesn't take much. And then when Roberts hit it... Point blank miss. Even though that was a quick shot by Larry, I don't mind it because that's a clean look, a, knock, a look that he can knock down. Mm. Scoop from Preston was a little bit short and stripped away from... Preston almost walked with it. And now gets it short corner. I love how he went quickly straight up with it. Well, remember, assists for Ohio on 27 made baskets. Preston will pull up. Only to turn it back outside and have it taken away by Vanderplas, who found Preston, and there's the sleight of hand from Preston. Great hit ahead. Yeah, Preston does such a great job. Line of understanding for parents out there. If your kid scores 52 points in high school, don't expect them to be Jason Preston. Just, just encourage the hard work. That's right. But, but every once in a while, that's the good rebound. Man, Buffalo right now with seven turnovers. A lot of that is a byproduct of having to play against the set defense. You score a basket, you're playing against the set defense. As Vanderplas gets enough. Every tall kid, they have to be the center on the team. A little different nowadays. Tall guys want to be guards. Guards just wish they were bigger. Oh, my goodness. A hard cut to the rim and Vanderplas in Ohio. Throw out there. That's what he did. I I'm surprised that he hasn't been able to figure out and get it going so far tonight. Wow. Preston to drop off. Wilson fills the lane for two. The first field goal for Ohio. You've been all game, man. He's had an impact. Vanderplas. Wow. Knocks it down from the corner and a huge shot. Preston with the screen from Wilson. Two-man game. He shuttles it there. Wilson got it and a foul. For, for a little extended period of time. That pick and pop's gonna be there. He's gonna take there it is. himself. There, there is, is Vanderplas trailing. He saw it, he saw it. Great set. 40 year olds loved him. Oh yeah. You know, when think he about was that. On their team. You're just out there for good good exercise and you gotta chase that around. Yeah. Preston great look. Wilson inside the Wilson misses. Kick it back out. Enderplatz puts it in from three. Three three-pointers in the game. All Homestead rescue today, so maybe I should learn about that. So start watching about the sheep in uh, Serbia. Preston with a beautiful bounce pass. And Wilson with the flush. I like when Jackson drove the lane. I think that's important. He's got to open it up. Here's Preston with the pass underneath. Ends up deflected into the hands of Dwight Wilson, who puts it up and in. That was two possession game right now. Smart play by Preston. Touchdown pass to Vanderplas underneath, puts it in. What a smart play from Jason Preston. Trying to trap, they get it to Roderick. Outside to Brown, back to Preston. Nine on the shot clock, Preston. Kick it outside, Vanderplas for three, buries it. A dagger from Ben Vanderplas. Right here in the city of Cleveland at Central Catholic High School. And that's where a lot of that offense has to come. Beck had 18 in that earlier game against Ohio. How about Ben Vanderplas? <laughs> You're going to like it. If he would the pass into the basketball here in the early going. Back-to-back -back turnovers. Wilson off the spin. Speaking of big men with strength. Yes, sir. Dwight Wilson on the make. 6'8", 250. Nine sophomores getting a start today with Danny Pippen not available. Preston gave it up. McDay booking. <laughs> He's triple. Mm, mm, mm. Find a way to get started. Santiago's had a rough day shooting it. Wilson. That jump wow. hook off the right block that's pure for Dwight Wilson, the lead. He's a 6'9 guy, doesn't normally do that. Oh, uh, how about oh, Preston? Wow. Preston and Vanderplas just kind of. They kind of bogarted, quite honestly. In the, yep. You should think dish first. Yes. Because there's about a 70% chance it's going in.
after you pass it. Right like, on cue. Like that as firing home the three is Miles Brown. Good point for the Bobcats. Miles Gibson misses the free throw line jumper and Ohio will run back. Ben Roderick, nice little penetration, goes to the opposite hand and puts Ohio on the board for the first time. Almost two and a half minutes in. Rob Murphy said they want to get the shot clock down to about 11 or 12 and then start their offense. Here's a turnover. Preston comes away with the steal. The lead to the streaking Roderick, who again scores with the right. Days to see that type of play out of Sears has been really, really a positive for the Bobcats. Ben Vanderplas gets the home court roll on the three, and he's on the board. Ohio trails by a basket. Vanderplas averaging 13 points and five rebounds for the Eagles, but is coming off the bench in the last three. He's back in the game. The bucket by Wilson evens the game up at 11. Ohio leading the Mac in field goal percentage at 48%. We mentioned Wilson's second. Of rim running as well by McDay does a good job of Making the defensive rotation at one end, coming away with steel, and then again in transition here, you just see him set that up perfect. Number three, averaging 11 points a game, fifth in the MAC in made threes, averaging 15 points a game over his last three. The smooth shooting lefty from Olentangy Liberty High School, north of Columbus, gives the Bob State for freshman of the year. I know uh, there are some other ones in the league, but with what he's done and, and how he's been called upon to kind of keep this team together at, at the at the point guard spot has been very impressive. And in the knocks down the first points of the game for the freshman from Muscle Shoals, Alabama. He's got his first three of the game, and Ohio has pushed the lead to 16 points with 95 seconds left. Live, I think, held their collective breath, but uh, scary. But uh, she's doing well and, and appreciates all the well wishes and. Uh, Hopefully we'll see her back on the floor uh, before the season is over. But for your nice job by Preston, reacting to the defense and finding a, a lane to get it to Wilson. I tell you what, he's had a tremendous second half as McBride. Knocked it's a, down a three. That's a big three again. Just anytime Eastern has been able to try to make a push or get this back into a manageable deficit. Uh, Ohio's come up with a big play and, and just continues to lead to 19. And this is just the point that Jackie was making a moment ago about the Eastern Michigan team. Uh, they get close. They had had it down to nine. They've had it down to 10 on a couple of occasions. And then just not anyone in this league in the five. Born in Detroit, grew up in France, and playing here at the Convo today after he transferred from Texas Tech. Ben Roderick with a smooth little floater. Elevating. Heck of a start for a team that's won the MAC tournament a bunch over the last couple of years. Wilson's a good place to go, and every time he puts it out, Kenny Battle was the first one ever to do a 360 in a college game from Northern Illinois and Illinois, and that nearly went down. McDay into the post had to minutes. I would imagine that so many fans of this league really enjoy watching him play. No one else has anyone like him. Sears tries to answer, and he bangs down the muster up something here down the stretch, down 27. Preston today has 10, still probing, and London McDay for the mid-range. Bowling Green to finish, I'm sorry, it is uh, Akron on Tuesday, and Kent State to finish on Friday, and Fagan continues to add points in a flurry. It's back to 29 now. Have to check it and see. Yeah, that's Daly's Daly. first. Daly, yeah, that's his first, okay. No, Just excuse underway. me, they got Reese. Yeah, the Zipso with a breakdown there is, that's way too easy for. It's an in. Oh, Reese with a knockdown of his first bucket. Using the glass there, this is a strong man going to the rim. It's gonna be very, bad. the Zip's gotta find a way, Jack, look. Michael Dawson wasn't able to knock it out. Feet were, feet were there. Talk about footwork there. Vanderplas steps right into it. The one-two pass out up top. On the deck hard. You know, stop it and then spin it and go glass. Vanderplas. Yep, he's hit back-to-back -back trades. Well, he's got soft hands. Again, footwork against his Zips team. Akron doing a tremendous job of recognizing and making that extra pass. Got uh, 14 already, that left-handed triple again. That's a couple of them for Ben Roderick. Good to have you with us. We get this one underway today here at the Convocation Center. Ohio goes right to Preston from McDay. Inside now, here's the newcomer, Dwight Wilson, and he finishes with a fury as he glided down the lane and caught the pretty feed. and Defend a guy like him early. 
Rife and Miguel into the Bobcat lineup for the first time today. 6'8", 240-pound junior. Here's McDay with another Bobcat three. London McDay off to a good start in this game. McDay with five at the powerhouse Pickering and Central program on the southeast side of Columbus before he transferred to which then on prep in Massachusetts. Ohio continues to knock down in the story of how he got to Athens. But, but with the nation now aware of what the young man could do, inside a nice feed for Wilson who scores. He's in double figures with 10 points. That's something he's going to have to deal with. Yeah, and he's committed to scoring through the contact. Just a nice heads up play there by McDay. Foul was on Cleveland State, Jaheel Hill, his first, and the Vikings are at the nine foul. G is here with the coverage of 5G Nationwide and the unprecedented performance of ultra wideband in more and more places where people need massive capacity and ultra low lag. This is the 5G America's been waiting. Give you some reference for that number. Cleveland State has 13 as a team. Vanderplas, good head and shoulders fake. It will square for the three. You know, it's when you watch a And by fader, I mean gliding across the lane and fading from the right to the left. Well, just good good touch there is he got the ability to finish, and that's exactly what Jeff Bowles wants to see from him, is that aggressive play. At got Brown, stops at the baseline, kicks it out to Preston right side. Nowhere to go. Gets it over to Brown. Right corner. Three is good. What a response from Ohio. The Bobcats retake eight. Chose a and and is having himself a nice second game in goal. The response on the other end from Ben Roderick is good. Bound taken by Ohio. Great look, though, from Jeremy Robinson. Float pass down low to Wilson. He got lost in translation, and he drops it in for two. The lead is up to the inbounds pass. Goes to Roderick, floats it out top. He's got Preston, the feed to the free throw line. Wilson races down over Harry, and he scores it. Count the bucket at. Here's Roderick. The three from the right is good. Ben Roderick. Five of seven from downtown, and that should hopefully rejuvenate the blue and gold. The flow pass down low to Wilson. He lays it up and in nice and easy off the glass. And Will Jones wants a timeout. Preston will grab it. Kicks it out. He's got Roderick long. Three is good. He's been fantastic today. Six of nine from beyond the arc. Good post defense by the senior transfer from James Madison. Yeah, Dwight Wilson's got 250 pounds himself, so he's not going to get pushed too easily. You saw the experience of Wilson there. Controlled. Now I'm at the rim. Adam Miller showing you some his whole game. Good feet inside, and who's waiting for it? Ben Vanderplas. Well, Vanderplas has been all... Preston beating his big man, and Dwight Wilson wasn't going to hesitate that time, Stephen. No, and then, oh, now can the Illini slow down this half court execution by Ohio? They've been pretty good here. Vanderplas, deep three, got it! His second from behind the arc. A rolled ankle. Here's Jason Preston working against Osuba. Ohio up a pair. Good post feed to Dwight Wilson. Great patience. Between they get really deep in their penetration, Kevin, and don't know exactly what they want to do with the basketball. Vanderplas knows what he wants to do. When he gets an open three, he's going to hit it. That's so impressive. Have a feel for where you are on the floor. Preston, the wow. wow, the two hand hammer to tie it at 63. Boy. Here comes Jason Preston. 29 points today. This time the assist as he lobs it to Dwight Wilson and the Bobcats by a pick. Preston hesitates. Lob and thrown down there. Nice find. And it's put home by Dwight Wil Back to Anna Chili Killen. That three too strong. Lob up ahead, Wilson in behind the defense and kisses that off the window for two. Ohio has their first. Preston drives, now nice backdoor cut and find laid up and in. Lunt 
Preston looks for the angle. Kick to McMurray from the corner. That one cashed from the near side. Mc now go to Wilson. Backs his man down in Williams, and that one goes for Dwight Wilson the third. Day dishes it to Preston. Nice no-look pass. Miles Brown buries that one from the corner. Ohio needs more of that. 45 to 21, and toughness was in question after the game. And Ohio's players and coaches all vowed that's not going to happen again. McDay with the hot hand as he splashes home the three. Ohio has scored. Swipes. Look how he got a piece of it, and it went off the hands. And, of course, Ohio with the basketball. Nice lead lob to Wilson, who catches and finishes with one hand. And Ohio has scored the game's first nine. All-time series between these two favors, Ohio 50-36. to 36. Bobcats have won eight of the last ten get-togethers. Inside Wilson, count it, and a foul. Dwight Wilson again, just with the Sears to stop and pop three. Preston snaps down the rebound, and Ohio will reset. Wilson head and shoulders. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> The head and shoulders scoop finish in. Close it to three. Jim, it wasn't a foul. It was, in fact, a, a warning about flopping inside. Here's Wilson spinning oh free my. and finishing with a flourish with the overhand slam. That can get. The way this thing started when they right. were outscored 11 0. Preston able to recover and find Miles Brown for the open three. Miles Brown knocks down just the third Ohio three in th early. In that's something that, that, again, he's either going to get the easy basket inside or he's going to be able to get a kick out. Good play on the baseline out of bounds. Jason Preston with that nice look to Vanderplas. That was a good inbound to three. Well, Ohio has pushed it back to eight. You know, that's a sign of a, of a very good team. And, again, good coaching. Another great screen on the baseline out of bounds. Back. Screen to finish at the rack. Two to 25. Yeah, it's amazing how Preston just glides in and reaches the rebound at the very top of his position. And how about the splash by Vanderplas from the top of the, the rack? A little miscommunication there, but Vanderplas able to save the possession. Oh, what a pass inside the Nola. Thread the needle to McDay, who scores. Again, a tremendous look. Vanderplas trying to go one on one against Muhammad. The defense so far by Central Michigan. He wants to shoot that three. He's been trying to, to find a crease. Good defense by Muhammad. Yeah. 11 to nine Bobcats as we go back and forth through the first five minutes. The Saint a little long on the three. Preston wants to push. Surveying out to Roderick. That one's good. When you got a teammate like Preston who can set you away, Junior misses. Roderick left alone and makes Central Michigan pay. Started with about two minutes left in that game. There's a little over five left. He just started launching from the outside and couldn't miss. That was Huffman's first three points of this second half. Problem is Vanderplas answers it. Lower possession game if Western controls this tempo at all. Ohio's got to be aware of that. Vanderplas open from here to Wisconsin. Bangs down the three. That for Vanderplas. Now. I miss the old horse in the middle of the W from the 80s. Mm -hmm. Ohio's attack cat's been around for a while. This possession's taking some time too, and that touches all the rails and the backboard from a little bit more muscular. That too strong on a shot from Western Michigan. Ohio has a chance to inflate it to 20. Bang! The Cats are on top by 20 on Western Michigan. Biggest lead of the ball. ...of injury or COVID concerns right now, but they're missing a couple of key cogs from a team last year. McDay straight on three. Bangs it down. Rob, he has had to work really hard. So a big man at the point guard position. McDay from the corner, and it's good. That's the best thing to do with it. Lost it again. Another turnover. Wilson's got it. Nine turnovers now for the Bulls. Nice touchdown pass ahead for the score. And what a seal inside by Ben Vonderpool. Ohio closing out quickly. Three is rebounded by Preston. Bulls, or Bobcats on the run. Four on three. Quick fire three. He got it. Ben Roderick, 15 points. It's like pick your poison. It's like who are you going to... Who are you going to pick, Javon Graves?
to Nathan Williams are both great. See the numbers Williams putting up this season. Average three points as a friend. Know and love for a Bobcat fan. Supported by McDonald's with four area locations in Southeast Ohio. McDonald's, I'm loving it. And Ben Roderick bangs down to three. That's something to love for the Bobcats. He's been out terrible offensive game. There you see Mark Sears in the corner. And Sears was outstanding as a starter. 57 points, 32 assists. And Ben Vanderplas has been starting a ton in his Bobcat career. This is his 47 in one half. And not nearly one minute. Roderick with a rhythm dribble, and he bangs down a three, much like he did at the start of the ball game, and a good start of the second. Defensively. That is their fifth made three. Combined, these two teams have 10 made triples, and an answer there on the left wing. Ben Vanderplot. Santiago with five, that's his first made three. He's had a really good couple of games. 24 points over his last two. And there's Vanderplas in the paint. The offense going to come from. You figure threes are going to have to be banged down at some point. There's a BVP banger from the left wing, and that's a good start for Ohio. That's the bomb. He's right corner right now. Second game back after missing four straight to injury. Vanderplas got away with a little clear space, and that's bang, bang, bang. Three threes in a row, and the Cats are certainly on the Southern Utah as the WAC will bring. 1-double-A FCS football back. Right corner, Vanderplas for three, and he bangs down another one, and it's single digits again. Flop warning there on that. Got to find a hot hand, and these two guys have been heating up. Into the post, it's Wilson for a hook. Oh, is that pretty. He's so muscular, but he's also pretty graceful, too, and it's down to eight. Buffalo at home, Toledo on the road, Ball State on the road. So... That's a, that's a jolt at the end of January is Ben Vanderplas. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to learn who the top teams are in this league. Last couple of games were championship games he would have played, but we were being very cautious with him. Late in the shot clock with seven on it. That is an easy triple for Ben Roderick, who is off the three-point line. Tied at three, two minutes gone by. Oh, behind the back pass, and that'll do, Pim, that'll do. Dwight Wilson he used a little head smoothly. He's a more than capable three-point shooter. He's over 40% from the three-point line. Elbow jumper is pure from London McDay, who had 16 points and nine, but they do get a two-for-one. Unless... Ohio goes quickly. You do get that extra possession. Shot clock is off, but Vanderplas, 2,377 2377 for Ron Harper. Not sure anybody's ever going to top that. One of the most underrated players in the history of the Chicago Bulls franchise. Ron Harper. Bobcats. And Preston clears the board. Deep down the floor, McDay makes the catch and hits. 10 0 run for the Bobcats. They're running away. Now. Got fan. Ball State's probably going to make you nervous after tonight as well. They are up 14 at Bowling Green. Oh! Two-handed thunder from Dwight Wilson. Set that up, but he didn't get the assist. The assist went yeah. to Rodman. Well, Ohio was one of the better hockey assist teams. They, they're always making that extra pass. That'll count. Ben Vanderplas. And they play similar style from when Nate was there, John. Well, I think you have to. you got to capitalize on the success that you're taking over. I think that, that's that far too often you see someone come into a successful program and kind of re... Well, Preston testing the gas pedal down to the floor with it, and this is out of bounds off of Ohio. Well, look, if you're going to test the gas pedal, you got Indiana in the first round. Like, there's still shrapnel on the text thread that he gets from his yeah. teammates for a three for ten. What? Preston will go to the free throw line. Bowles is in the blocks. Backdoor cut there from Preston trying to dish it off at the last second, and we get a turnover. This is Milner taking it to the rim. Just He looks for JT Shoemate under the basket. Great pass inside. And Preston loses the handle. It goes out of play with Saunders on him. We go back to Toledo. It's a good matchup, Saunders on Preston. But Saunders is a good defender, defensive player. Preston got caught up there and ended up walking with the spin.
Preston, just a remarkable story and looking to continue it here in this 2021 20, season. Off the steal, Littleson misses short. Offensive rebound. Making just his uh, third start of the season, only played in 12 games. Freshman from, from right up the road yeah. in Stowe, Ohio. I know Rob Senderoff likes the freshman. Not sure. Two percent as a team, and uh, you know, quite frankly, the overall field goal percentage is mediocre at best, and not quite 45 percent. So, you know, Michigan last year against Ohio, we had eight in the first go around, then 23 in the second game. Ohio won them both last year, 60 to 58, and 74 68. Here, Ohio leads by 10 with six and a half the game. Second turnover of the game against Ohio. And a result, too, of Granger getting in there and making plays. You talked when he first checked in about, you know, what he brings to the floor, good effort plays. You saw him there get on the ground. But the turnover on the inbound, and Eastern will push back. Not too many times did you see, well, you see a, a lob pass go up and Preston not come down with it, his ability to, to rate. And Preston. And getting back defensively with Spotsville, who had the spot on the floor. And... The Jason Preston turnover takes us to a dead ball timeout. Roderick, a big part of the win in Buffalo a couple of weeks ago. Preston inching closer to 1,000 points in his career. And a really nice step through passing balls, Iowa. But he spent 24 years as a head coach in the Chicagoland area at Lewis Division II and at Elmhurst and at Loyola. And you're going to see a lot of this today. The physic. Imbala last time out had 11. He had a double-double in the first meeting between these two clubs. Preston underneath the board and really didn't have anywhere to go and a turnover. And that's I think you're going to see a good bit of this lineup for Ohio. Sears and Preston together just to move the ball around and get it up court. Active hands by Buffalo. Preston lost it. Bust out. Graves reliable. He has 15. Now 17 points in the first half. And he stayed on the floor. Just one foul for him, one foul for BBP. Buffalo on the right side. Oh. Under uh, Keith Dambrot, and obviously John Gross had tremendous success at Ohio as okay. their former head coach. So a lot of crossover and a lot of good. Continues to be a big part of how this second half will play out. Preston. Oh, look at Preston. Did he get hit for a walk there? Now, he doesn't believe it, but uh, he's saying, wait a minute, I did. For Roderick, Preston with the basketball, dribbles into traffic and has the ball knocked out of bounds and off of Preston and out of bounds. And Cleveland State will get the basketball back halfway through the first 20 minutes of play. Wilson battling inside. And you have to like that right there as from a position standpoint, he was out of position, but still managed to. And misses off the far rim. The rebound taken by the Bobcats and Preston quickly down the floor. And he walked a little too fast as he couldn't get the ball off of his fingers to pass it into that far corner. Barry Morris. Baseline out of bounds to the right of the hall. And Preston just threw it right into the Aggie bench. Blake Harris with a nice grab. When we work down towards the other mid-major conferences, as it looks like some 2-1-2 two -two trap being played, and May able to steal it away. The pressure worked. Here comes May across the timeline. Passes it over to the right side. He's, as the Aggies are showing 1-3-1 now. Bounce pass to Preston. He stopped the free throw line. Quinton Jones bumped him and forced the travel. So here comes Preston back the other way. Throws it down low to Wilson, and it's stolen away by Cleveland. Here comes Fred. Floats it. Corrals the miss momentarily, and then dribbles it off his foot. He wanted a foul, and quickly Ohio back into the front court. But Preston loses the handle. Go. Another offensive rebound for Ohio. Now Preston throws it away on the drive. A two-on-one break for Marshall. Feed. Kinsey. Preston tries to drive, and he traveled with that one, is what they'll say. And it'll be a turnover. Shoots the 16th best mark on two-point field goals in the nation. 60% on two-point field goals. And another turnover for the Bobcats will take us to a... 
players to watch in this contest. Has to drive, whistle, offensive foul against Preston. That's just his second personal foul. In a way. And West comes up with the steal. Quick out to Taylor. And Taylor will cap the break with the finger roll. Jeff Vanderplas thought momentarily about a three. And Jason Preston with his first turnover of the game. And uh, that's the very definition right there of an un down the stretch. But there are some good teams, and they get after each other each time out. Preston on the run out. Oh, what a nice attempt at the bounce pass intended for McDay and led him just a little too much. And Ben Vanderplas is coming. That's his feet. Threes have started to fall for Central Michigan over these last couple of games. They've got five today. And now a turnover. Sixth steal of the game for CMU. I mean, if both teams can continue to, to play at a high level, bring some energy, you know, limit some of those turnovers. But again, that's back-to-back -back now for Ohio. Broadway Jr. against two, and he couldn't get it to go down. Wilson is still yet to miss from the floor. Five for five, second in the Mack and field goal percentage. Preston was out of bounds when he launched that three-pointer. That came in the first half. Preston lost it to Broadway Jr. CMU running up to Basaint. And too high for you in conference play for sure. Inside to Wilson, and that's taken away. Up ahead, Basaint. Tough catch. Goes are going to get back into it. B. Artis White's going to have to hit that shot. No mix yet in that second half. Preston with a push off, and that is the right call. His offhand. And it would have been in this game. Fundamentally, some very good things are going on from the paint. Lob off of the inbound, nearly a highlight finish for Preston. Starts a break for the Broncos. They gallop down the floor, but Ohio is there. For six years, winning four of the last five tournaments that have been played. Which of course, does not include last season when the tournament was not held in Cleveland. And they fouled. They've done a really great job of keeping them off the glass. Preston, described by his coach as a pass first, second, and third point guard, turns it over on the break and easy look. Knocked on wood when he told us they haven't had a positive COVID test in their program since July. Preston turns it over, alley oop, and Bala hammers it. It was a great defensive play by Renault. And that's what the Buffalo Bulls need more of. It's just, if you miss the first one, go up and get it. Get another opportunity for your team. Bad turnover, four on one, and Bala the easy. Drift screen, so he's going away from the ball. And that really switches up how you have to guard him on the defensive end. Five points for Sears, back out to a 10-point lead. Throws up a wild shot, rebound volleyed out to Sagu. Trying to kind of take advantage of the mismatch with Sagu inside. Williams, three for the lead. Rebounded by McNamara, be that spark. Certainly was last game. Preston left his feet and threw it away. Larry somehow able to keep his dribble. Coming up on the one minute mark here. The Ohio Bobcats are going to get to seven and five overall and three and three in Mac play. A team that pushed. Ohio turns the basketball over, then Eastern returns the favor very quickly. My goodness, what a block shot by Preston. Just, you don't want to say came out of nowhere. Watch it here. He, he, he. Shot clock at 10. Christian Jackson on the take. Got rejected there. Uh, excellent D from Ben Roderick. Roderick. A That's three, and it won't go. But Williams, another offensive board. Quick put back. That won't go. George, a second effort. That doesn't go either. End this drought of two and a half minutes with no points. Broadway Jr. trying to dump it off lane. Broadway Jr. open. Clear for Boye Richard. Steps through and a block out of bounds by Wilson. A double block there from Preston and Wilson. Gets us to the under 16. Floor, Sears missing on the three point attempt. And now McNamara beats everybody back. Got him blocked at the rim. It was Preston. Six foot. 
The wrong foot, usually going to the right side of the basket, take off the left foot, finish with the right hand. He actually was goofy footed, taking off the right, still finish. Uh, you know, it looks like a, a, a deflection. I have to see it in the replay, but it looked like. There's a takeaway, Preston in the open floor, it's a three. Huskies just inbound. Thorpe, tough shot, the floater fall. A 13 point lead. German with the left hand. German's got 20. Shoulder fake the shot off the mark, but Bowman able to keep the ball on the Miami side of the floor. Ringo will launch. And there's he tries to do a little jump hook, but again, you need to know where you are on the court to be able to have the touch. Larry out high, the three. Will not see the rivalry games be the last game of the regular season. Central and Western, Ohio and Miami, Kent State and Akron. Jackson thought about quick trigger in that three. Plenty of time left on the shot clock. Now Jackson will back rim. Harris from downtown. That one too strong. To get onto the rim, and Dosuma was on him defensively. Here's Miller on the drive. Ooh, a little wee. under to get to the rim. Ooh, Kevin. That one rolls in and out from Dwight Wilson. West, nice hesitation to get past Preston, and he... Excellent D, good help side. Into the lane now, and the attempt by Walton is short, but he will draw contact and head to the way he's played in this one here today. Big free throws right there for McDay, 17 points. Seven-point Ohio lead. A stop and pop, long three off the glass. Vanderplaskin, shot clock low. Under five, but Saints got to put something up. Does go off the rim. Out of two and a half minutes with no points. Broadway Jr. trying to dump it off. Lane. Got a double-double with 10 boards, also six assists, filling up the stats. Huffman has that swatted. And the artist White falling down. Wow. There have been a couple to go. What a dime inside. Green, step back three, knocks it down. Five to shoot. Roberts leaning in. I think that missed the rim. One of the seniors is going to have to step up. We haven't heard much of Jalen Walker. We haven't heard any of Jalen Avery. One the short time remaining on both clocks. Roberts from the oh, right oh, oh. point leaning in. To go. Jardis off the mark. You're almost surprised when it doesn't go in. Green swats this drive here by Vanderplas. They're in a zone, but he creates the ISO on Carlson and really nice soft touch. And I love these rims. You get the big side rebound to Van Duke. Great vision by Preston once again. Went left, passed it back right. Van Duke drives. Two straight, a little more wide open this year at the top. Oh, there's no question. I think Ohio State's played the best basketball of anybody in college basketball. Got it. You know, that's a big guard guarding him. I mean, Preston's 6'4". That's a floater partially blocked. Man on that. Cheese the take. And he lost it. Long one from Zaire Mateen. NBA numbers. Far too much basketball to use a shot clock when you don't need to. That came up. They are playing hard right now. Great effort, Vanderplas and Preston recovered. Simons lets fly from three, too strong. Leader at 17 points a game, hit the 1,000 point mark in his career in the first half when he knocked down a three. Here's Johnson, his three is off the mark. For a ball club that's tops in the league in scoring. Yeah, they don't get a ton of offensive rebounds, but they're ton, get you a ton of pace and a ton of steals. A turnover he troubled this year. Yep, has really not gotten to where he wanted to be offensively, not gotten to show a lot of possessions in the offensive end there. He's holding his former Indian Hills teammate Montgomery. Out in Western will keep the ball on their side of the floor. B. Artis White has not scored in this game and still has not scored. The 49 seconds left. He'll step into the lane, counted out a foul for Flowers, who have a chance. Two minutes, an opportunity to close this gap. It's now down to six. It was high as 13. Gross turns around and hit. Jordan, spin move into the lane, layups, good. Ohio, particularly up in northwest Ohio. 
Turner turns and hits. Twenty nine twenty two Ohio out in front nineteen thirty eight to play in the half eight to shoot as day day Grant gets to the rack and draws the foul Purdue is incredibly fortunate. There's Stefanovic on the drive and that's not it. Preston made back to our triple double today eleven seven and six. You're telling me the air ball three isn't it huh and Tennessee Tech. <laughs> So some jitters certainly got to get out of the way for both sides, but let's see what they do come out of the break. Lofton gets handcuffed, puts it up anyway. Can't get it. Yeah, Bill Walton will have the call, and we'll see if Bill remembers anybody who he's worked with name tonight. Preston, it's... So Jason Preston, five assists, four rebounds, three steals, 17 points. The LSU-Alabama game should be high scoring as well. Yeah, I mean... Call it what you want. Not a lot of defense in that Alabama Ellis. That is, the guards have had to really pick up the pace and attack from the perimeter in. And it, it's just harder when you're trying to score quickly to get it to like this. Yeah. They'd ha they have to come down a lot to only shoot 50% in the second half. That's how good they've been. Bob, I mean, don't think because he's a 6'9 guy doesn't normally do that. Oh, uh, how about oh Preston? wow. Preston. Go to Cleveland, have to play effectively up to three games pretty quickly. Guys like Miguel, guys down the bench here are going to be important, just getting through some minutes. Bulls plus five. All right, we see him with the spin move and attack in the inside, so you give him a little bit of space, and then he's shooting the deep ball. All right, step back. Preston take a few bodies with him, some miscommunication there on the inbound, and just great recognition by Wilson to find the open guy. London Mc... So on the floor now is Cam Reese. Well, that runner is right there. Oh, and we're five minutes deep into the second half. Triple went glass. This time it wouldn't stay in. The uh, Lauren Christian Jackson. Jackson's going to raise up and ring it. Jumpers by Ohio. Nothing but Akron's jerseys under the rack. Jackson to unload it. Energy, great maturity, and, and are just playing really hard here in this basketball game this afternoon. Well, that left-handed jumper came up. They uh, they came out and extended this lead in the second half and uh, pretty much had this game in control. Jackson, left hand, bump the lead. To Shot clock at 10. Christian Jackson on the take. Got rejected there. Uh, excellent. You know, you, you got to bring your own energy in these situations. And Ohio's ready. Suba with the crossover gets it in the paint. That finger roll is so pretty. Over the top to West. Drives into the lane. Tries to lob one to Williams. Bring an official's timeout. El Amin circling the perimeter. Preston flashes out. Good stroke on the jump shot by Israel last Saturday against Kent State. 23 points and 10 assists. Today he's got 7 points, 7 assists, and 4 rebounds. Ohio by 4. And the runner in the lane for a couple of minutes to go in Muncie, but went on a 10-4 closeout. Good look inside, and the defense by Roderick drops down as Hazen was open. In this building against Eastern Michigan back on January 16th. And we're scheduled to play four games on the road. Had one was look in sync. They're being patient offensively, trying to get good looks. Broadway Junior turns the corner, splits in the air. Vanderplug at 14. Yeah, that's pretty. Get that on a banquet table. And a steal is that was croquet that broke. Yeah, Buffalo just needs to pick up the pace here. Get into attack mode. Javon Graves to Ohio. Ohio led by as much as 10 at 17 to 7. Buffalo is one of the best passing teams in the league. 
15 for Roderick, averages 11 a game. He's missed one game, that was a couple of games ago against Western Michigan, and Kent State turns it over there on their first offensive possession. Yeah, Pippen's had a hard time with the last 11 from three, and now deep into the 60s in his career from three, and there's a, another turnover for Kent State. They're loose, their floor is more wide open, it really spreads things out for the other team's defense, period. Nuga can hit from deep, he can also get into the post. That's a, sends that bench into a fury. Yeah, pick six, turnover 10 for Kent, Ohio, finally cashing one. Energy that's answered by Santiago. Weird matchups out there, Ohio, a little bit of a zone look. Late timer and a steal. Preston with balance and with his right hand on a fourth time in the last five tries. Jacob says 14. Oh, that's a pretty scoop. Didn't finish. Wilson. Okay, trying to shake three out high. She'll step back by Dallas Morgan. Plus first half, what a opening 20 minutes here for the visitors from Athens. Jackson trying to change all that. And a strip flip. Rob gets three early turnovers. To begin the second half, Christian Jackson trying to catch fire. Ten straight empty possessions, Ohio. A little basket, cheese on the rim, back iron missed. Supporting cast for Christian Jackson, really stepping up tonight. Triple the drive, lots of contact. He is fouled there. <laughs> you want Williams to, to be on the perimeter, not Ali Ali. Cheese crosses over, floats, gets a roll. Park City, Iowa. Who's from the Tumwa? Who else is from the Tumwa? Radar, Lyra. Radar, Lyra. Here's Simon. Left wing front iron miss. Bobby Hurley left Buffalo. Jim Whitesell got the job replacing Nate Oates. Whitesell was on Nate Oates' staff. Inside. Member of my all lettuce team for the Mac. This hair. In the paint, Turner hangs. Came up short. Back to the bucket, so it stays Kent State by two. Williams, no, well, he's too strong. A 15-point lead for the Golden Flashes. Santiago lost it. Now they don't have to worry about taking a shot. I mean, that's just the, the effort part of it, and that tends to be one of the easier parts. Just apply the effort. Bertram is all with the basket. That that time, he went to the rim. Saunders has his pocket picked there from Preston. It's been a failure to launch for the Rockets here in this semifinal. Drive to the rim there from Rollins draws the foul. Ball over, then Eastern returns the favor very quickly. My goodness, what a block shot by Preston. Just high gross, but unable to get that lob to fall. The Roderick three off the mark, and Eastern with the basketball, and a foul in the backcourt. No, back traveling. And ten points the first time these teams met at the Stroh Center in January. 19-point win for BG. Here's Fry, think about a long-range shot, rattles out. This is Devontae Jordan with those seven first-half assists for another one for Graves. No. Has four off.
his mother Judith. I mean, those are real life things that you know, most kids don't have to deal with. And he's overcome a lot and you lose him. You do not help off of Jason Preston. You don't allow him to get a catch. At some point, someone from Buffalo is going to have to take enough pride or find the pride to be able to shut him down. Offensive rebound, harden it, and he got the... Is that a place I should know? If you've been to Athens, yeah. Okay, I'm just making sure. Here's Jackson on the return. Stops, beautiful dish underneath for JT Shoemate for the lay-in. Play in the first meeting between these two teams. Kick out here to Saunders. No Find some room in the lane. Off the window and in. Strong move for... Milner, bad pass outside, goes into the backcourt. Way backcourt violation as Jackson. Preston's got an advantage over everybody he's playing with. He's playing a different game right now. Littleson underneath for Jackson, he puts it in. In the gym and understanding the game. Another one of Eastern's double figure scores on the season is into the game as Dwight Wilson scores for Ohio. 6 2 junior. There have been a lot of those type of roles. And the lead again back under double digits at nine. And we've seen them now in several possessions here exploit Wilson. Gibson at Gibson. the free throw line with the Eastern Michigan basket. Gibson coming into the game averaging seven points an outing and today has six. Six foot floor. No matter the opponent, no matter the atmosphere, no matter the, you know, what's at stake to be able to play your best basketball. And that's one of the challenges for Ohio. With the exception of one, averages in double figures, and the one that doesn't had a double-double the last time out, Laquil Hartnett into the post and Bala early. They missed that three. Almost surprised Buffalo doesn't get to the line more with this style. Two-man game with Mbala, and he will. Really fast if you're a Bobcat. Again, this is Buffalo going with now a little bit of rest, getting some of the second unit guys out there. They had 39 two-point buckets against in a game this season. Gonzaga and Rutgers, the other two. Nickelberry with the baseball pass. Williams fall down. At Wilson's a basketball wizard. He's two for two with four points. They just denied him the ball so far. Ohio has to look to get him the ball more in sets. He's 40 for his last 45 in a minute. Punch and counter punch. The most efficient offense in the league finally strung a few together. Backdoor and bomb. On the floor, just one foul for him, one foul for BBP. Buffalo in the right spot. Bust out down the floor. At 20 against Toledo, 21 against Western Michigan. Double figures in four of the last five. Rondo Segu kick out Graves. Buffalo decades of college coaching in the Chicagoland area, I like. Graves to Segu. He's managed to be a big part of this thing and then gets this effectively a four or five day span. And maybe that's the issue. It'll be cold tub time, it'll be PT time, it'll be recovery time for this Ohio squad. But everyone's playing this tight stack schedule over the last week or two. Shot, but McDay, the offense, beats the defense on that possession. He's trying to go strong into the paint. That's going to be a walk on. Bodawan, 6'3", senior from Chicago. Seventh in the Horizon League in assists last year. Started 14 of the half, 2.30 to go, 30-27. to 27. A&T trailing. Langley saw a hole, took it, puts it up towards the rack, misses. And he lost the basket. To Roderick, his three is short. And Coburn will start it up the floor. Here's Dosumu. Wriggles his way to the basket. And the defender. And then touching it first. Dosumu down the left side of the lane. That's not Lindsay. West. That's three. And it won't go. But Williams, another offensive board. Quick put back. That won't go. George, a second effort. That doesn't go either. Ohio is shifted into a zone now, and they're able to take that one away from the herd. Finish, but Ball State playing a man-to-man, -man and they're switching on it, which is very difficult. Big-time move by Big Very assertive, both on offense and defense. At 10 points, the first time these teams met in Muncie. A lot of contact inside. Thomas scores, counted down a foul. Ball State, Acrea, 6'6", 185-pound Richard sophomore into the lane as Huggins. And a, it's 16-13, but Ohio went on a run out of that and has pushed it again up to double figures. A nice look inside and a good finish underneath the basket. By Ball State likes to claw back in these games, and if Ohio lets them hang around, they, they can do that. Sears trying to 
here on this Florida Kent State. Bobcats were scheduled to play on Tuesday at Northern Illinois. In fact, had flown to DeKalb and the day of the with 21 points for Ball State. You got to know on defense who the shooters are. And this guy has been the shooter with a nice bounce to Walton who adjusts and scores and an immediate ball. Trying to come in and swat it away at the end. Caleb Huffman looks like he's found that confidence once again. He struggled right there for a moment. Three. What a rebound. Whoa. Huffman way up to Murray. There he attacks right at Preston. Some offense here. Broadway Jr. trying to get into the lane. And nothing there. The talent in Western Michigan's backyard. Extending over to the Chicagoland area. That's a strong take from Lee. Unsettled situation, but a fresh shot clock for UB. Hardnet. Nice move to the rim and a score. And I like that Coach White has said, man, we were putting too much pressure on him. Let's take him away from the ball. Let him just play. Williams slices to the rim. Couldn't finish. Score who will shoot it here. Scored the first five points of the game for Buffalo and did not score again. He averages 20 a game. Impala. Text and data plus more. All in the best networks. Straight talk wireless only at Walmart. There's only one original. Three of the second half, of this Kent has, uh, has the same three to match it, and way more twos. So a 14-point lead. Can D create O? Here is missing on the three-point attempt. And now McNamara beats everybody back. Got him blocked at the rim. So Jason Preston, five assists, four rebounds, three steals, 17 points. The wrong foot, usually going to the right side of the basket, take off the left foot, finish with the right hand. He actually was goofy footed, taking off the right, still finished. The LSU Alabama game should be high scoring as well. Yeah, I mean, call it what you want. Not a lot of defense in that Alabama LSU. It's been a failure to launch for the Rockets here in this semifinal. Drive to the rim there from Rollins, draws the foul. Basketball area, which I covered back in the early 90s. Did you? Oh, yeah. Fertile. Yes. Right? Yes. We likely wouldn't see him today. But knowing he's not going to have to be very mobile at the defensive end, and he can kind of sit and find pockets at the offensive end, he's not going to have to do much. He's on the way and down. Yeah, nice job there. I thought Roderick could have shot that three, but makes that extra pass. In stride, Vanderplas rebound, but keep it alive for a teammate here and give themselves another opportunity at the rim. Good penetration, the floater unable to fall. And Wilson. And this is again is going to be strategic. He can't play this way for 40 minutes with the depleted team he has. They're in the game, have a chance to make, and that's really the, the story of the season too with the way that the Mac has reformatted uh, the, the seating. <laughs> On that trip to the basket by Miles Gibson. You saw the three go down a moment ago by Ohio's Jalen White. And why go to Cleveland have to play effectively up to three games pretty quickly. Guys like Miguel, guys down that bench ahead are going to be important just getting through some minutes. Bulls plus five. Just didn't take a few bodies with them, some miscommunication there on the inbound, and just great recognition by Wilson to find the open guy. London make the Akron lead is five. Yeah, what I loved most about that shot was he just shot it with great confidence. We're talking about the start one for four, but catching fire. Well, how and we're five minutes deep into the second half. Tribble went glass. This time it wouldn't stay in. They uh, they came out and extended this lead in the second half and uh, pretty much had this game in control. Jackson, left hand. Bump the lead. To Shot clock at 10. Christian Jackson on the take. Got rejected there. Uh, excellent. Patton off the mark. Loose ball tracked down by Des Moines Hodge. Tried to thread the needle. Tough look inside. And the ball being scrapped for Miles Brown and Patton for dueling. You know, you, you got to bring your own energy in these situations. And Ohio's ready. Suba with the crossover gets it in oh. the paint. That finger roll is so pretty. Flies Vander uh, Plus in the post. The drive to the rim. It's Miller. We saw him to get onto the rim, and Dosuba was on him defensively. Here's Miller on the drive. Ooh, a little bit under to get to the rim. Ooh, Kevin. For Dosuba in this first half. Closing in on 1,000, just four points away. Curbello. Stepped out of bounds. And he stepped out. The turnover against one of the best teams in college basketball and matched up a lot with one of the best players. And Frazier stepped on the sideline, and that's a turnover. 
over the top to West. Drives into the lane, tries to lob one to Willie. That one rolls in and out from Dwight Wilson. West, nice hesitation to get past Preston, and he... Byers, nice backdoor pass, looking for Early, and David Early lays it in off the... Mid-American Conference, the Ball State Cardinals going after it here today. El Amin splits, fades. That one almost stayed down. Excellent D, good help side. Into the lane now, and the attempt by Walton is short, but he will draw contact and head to the... In this building against Eastern Michigan back on January 16th. And we're scheduled to play four games on the road. Had one was look in sync. They're being patient offensively, trying to get good looks. Broadway Jr. turns the corner, splits in the air. Vanderplug And a tight one here tonight. Playing in rhythm offensively, though. That one taken away, though, by Preston. I'd they still get excellent looks at the basket time and time again. If you played over 20 minutes tonight for the Bobcats, you scored in double figures. That's pretty good. The Saints. Clear for Boye Richard. Steps through and a block out of bounds by Wilson. A double block there from... Yeah, Buffalo just needs to pick up the pace here. Get into attack mode. Javon Graves to Ohio. Ohio led by as much as 10 at 17 to 7. Buffalo is loose. Their floor is more wide open. It really spreads things out for the other team's defense, period. Nuga can hit from deep. He can also get into the post. That's a games in the country. A lot of officials getting work. They might miss calls too. And this is a makeup potentially on a travel. Sends that bench into a fury. Yeah, pick six, turnover 10 for Canton, Ohio. Finally cashing one. Energy that's answered by Santiago. Fourth time in the last five tries. Jacobs says 14. Oh, that's a pretty scoop. Didn't finish. Will second half, Chris. Can't review it. Not until late in the contest, so Miami will take it. Brown will get to the free throw. That one working on this side of the floor. But well, we've got uh, our little makeshift clock for you there on the bottom right of the screen. We'll keep you posted as Makai Larry ends this first half. What a opening, opening 20 minutes here for the visitors from Athens. Jackson trying to change all that. And a strip flip. Did a pretty good job bodying up. Sabandi out top to Bowman and Day Day Grant drives against Preston. Got to the rack with a right hand and score. Off to Brown. Brown will drive. Feed to the corner. Muro will drive. Pull up 12 footer is strong. And the rebound chased down by Obanda. Twenty nine twenty two Ohio out in front nineteen thirty eight to play in the half eight to shoot as day day Grant gets to the rack and draws the foul He knows where his players that look great quarterbacks know where their guys gonna be open and they throw to the open spot That's a lot of it, what Jason Preston does Got a hand in there that that young man Jason Preston ahead Dave Pash Bill Walton will have the call and we'll see if Bill remembers anybody who he's worked with name tonight Preston to take away for Ohio, and the Bobcats up by 10. A, Got a little Herm Edwards in you there. Oh, it's play to win the game. The play to ball is stripped. Can't play not to lose. Keep your foot on the gas. Footer, or take it all the way to the basket. That, that time, he went to the rim. Saunders has his pocket picked there from Preston. Phenomenal. Uh, you know, it looks like a, a, a deflection. I have to see it in the replay, but it looked like... There's a takeaway. Preston in the open floor. It's a three-on-one break if they hurry. To Roderick to the rim. He can rip off four or five. I mean, don't think because he's a 6'9 guy, he doesn't normally do that. Oh, oh how about oh, Preston? Wow. Preston and Vanderplas just kind of... Vanderplas three is on the way and down. Yeah, nice job there. I thought Roderick could have shot that three, but makes that extra pass. In stride, Vanderplas steps in and drills it from deep. And it gives Ohio the Bobcats nicely done. Counted out of bounds. Good vision there and thread the needle. Nice job of rim running as well by McDay. Does a good job of making the defensive rotation at one. Preston and he's fouled on that trip to the basket by Miles Gibson. You saw the three go down a moment ago by Ohio's Jalen White. And White. 
as he knocked down. That's not what Ohio wants, but that's exactly what the Zips want. They're going to send that double team into Vander Plus, force that ball out of his hands, and let the Bobcats shoot from long range. Go after Rifen. Guys, and uh, excellent Akron defense at the defensive end uh, off that long range miss three from Michael Dawson. And now Ohio with an opportunity again. Up one on the baseline. Cobra the rebound. 5.47 to go. Dosumu, and there's Preston knocking away. Boy, he's got a nose for the rock, doesn't he? He sure does. Being on the offensive glass, being physical, getting anything that can be cleaned up, and that's what he did. Here's a turnover. Preston steps in front of a Luke Bumbleo pass, and Ohio runs back. Roderick's been hot of late. Ten in the prior two games. He's already got three in this game. Yeah, you can tell that this is a Ball State team that if they get hot, look out. Good steal there by Preston. He's going to go, yep. go coast to coast. Did a great job of shielding the ball with just over a couple of minutes to go in Muncie, but went on a 10-4 closeout. Good look inside, and the defense by Roderick drops down as Hazen was open, and it leads to a run out. The adjustment and the off-balance shot. They've gotten themselves in a tight one here tonight. Playing in rhythm offensively, though. That one taken away, though, by Preston. And he gets tripped up. Incidental conduct. Jason Preston to the post, and he banked it in. Ohio with its steal there and a miss and a tip up nearly inflated the 12 point lead. Up. An okay spot. They extended this thing 7 0 in the first half. Getting it into Lee is a good start. That's a really nice back door, but just right through the hands of Emelian. Ninth turnover for Western. Ohio. Ohio with its biggest lead at 14. Yeah, that's pretty. Get that on a banquet table. And a steal is that was croquet that broke out. The Broncos have been down on the floor and just have been. Weird matchups out there. Ohio a little bit of a zone look. Late timer and a steal. Preston with balance and with his right hand on a corner pass. A lot. You're going to learn who the top teams are in this league pretty quickly. BVP has. 24 today and a steal and an extra possession and BVP couldn't connect he points shooting from Miami well Miami Ohio has been lights out from the three-point line so if they're able to manufacture threes early they can absolutely stay in this game against an Ohio offense that is can game he knows how to manipulate his own defender but he also understands how to manipulate the other four defenders and that's really it's really impressive but all those Segu, catch and shoot. Oh my. Offensively, who really started to push it and try to attack and create some opportunities. I'd look to go to him again, but he's going to have to help seek out some opportunities as well. I mean, that's just the, the effort part of it. And that tends to be one of the easier parts, just apply the effort. Bertram is. And so this tournament is like the biggest thing for him. First time in the semifinals for Ohio since Cody Shoemate's got it. Three straight stops for the Rockets. Shoemate takes it to the block, kicks it up top. Three pointer. Not so good from 15 feet with nobody guarding. To the rim. Little sit for three. Arian Jackson, the Mac Player of the Year this year, in a stacked first team All Mac. I know Rob Senderoff likes the freshman. Not sure he was planning on starting him in the MAC tournament. Fire deserving of the MAC first team accolades. Santiago just cannot get soft more. Inside the 10 minute mark, and uh, Ohio right now has got this well in hand. Side. I don't think he's come close to the potential we're going to see him as he continues to grow and develop. 12th in the league in scoring coming into this game. Fourth in block shot on four Ohio. Bobcats enter the day fourth in the MAC in rebound margin. Vanderplas finds Wilson, who is unable to teams that they didn't think they would be able to hang with, and then when they got close, those teams were able to make plays. Kent State and then Bowling Green on Tuesday. Here's a steal, Vanderplas. Good hand. All right, we see him with the spin move and attack in the inside, so you give him a little bit of space, and then he's shooting the deep ball. Right, step back. And a challenge, right, for the Bobcats. We'll 
Akron's been able to do that as well, especially on the interior. Excellent ball reversal for who averages 12 a game. Jackson, no look dish. Jackson from deep. Got it! Teen already, that left handed triple again. That's a couple of them for Ben Roderick. Jackson to unload it at the first. And thought about quick trigger in that three. Plenty of time left on the shot clock. Now Jackson will. Back rim. Bring an official's timeout. No, I mean, circling the perimeter. Preston flashes out. Good stroke on the jump shot by his first game. Went on a 10 4 closeout to put the Cardinals away down the stretch in Muncie. El Amin, a long, and I mean long three for the top. Oh, the missed shot down the lane, caught it, and put it right back in. That's highlight film material. Nice play by him. And almost came away with a block on the defensive end. The way he's played in this one here today. Big free throws right there for McDay, 17 points. Seven-point Ohio lead. A stop and pop, long three off the glass. Vanderplas And the glass, and I think Keno Davis and the coaching staff they need more from him inside, especially with the injury to Polk, some, uh, a guy that they were relying on for points inside. Yeah, and Andre, here comes Broadway Jr. And by Ohio standards, that's a bad shot. Beachler open for three. That's a good shot for CMU. Shot clock low. Under five. But saint got to put something up. Does go off the rim. That's 10 for Ben Roderick. Preston, an easy bucket. It's so unselfish. It's great to watch. Broadway Jr. drills the triple. B. Artis White for a point right three. Needs help, throws to the point. And B. Artis White ends up with Freeman, and he bangs down another. Fights for his own rebound, couldn't get it. And here come the Broncos. Wittens to Hamilton, left corner three. What's Where to go? What a dive inside. Green, step back three, knocks it down. Has been a beast inside for Ohio, establishing position early on the drop step, relocating on drives and able to finish. And then five, when you move to the other side of the hoop is a big. You're going to let yourself be available on the drive, but if, if the if the guard decides to shoot that, you're here. Michael Nugo wears one, and he's a new piece for Kent State we'll talk about. Santiago can fire it, and he misses from deep. There were eight lead changes. I'm sorry, eight ties and 16 lead changes. There's a southpaw three from the right wing. Ohio was up by nine at halftime on Miami last time out. End of the timer here for Santiago. That's a nice drawn kick for a Turvel Beck. Pulled away by Jacobs. They get in their lane so well, and they find the shooter in Santiago, and he missed the three. Good box out benches, but it's been interesting to see teams love the corner three, the short three, but they make that mistake. Nuga from deep. Man, a heat check. He's, he's having. Those are real life things that you know, most kids don't have to deal with. And he's overcome a lot, and man, he's coming out on top. He brings so much unbridled joy to. How about Vanderplatz there with the defense job? Oh, he's just been active. Another guy with good feel for the game. Probably going to be a travel. Defense getting back on Segu, by the way, who wanted the baseline. Trayvon Fagan clangs a three, rebound Preston. Now the other thing to point out that, that Ohio's doing very well in the zone, they're actually Preston. You don't allow him to get a catch. At some point, someone from Buffalo's gonna have to take enough pride or find the pride to be able to shut him down. And you talked about pace there, it looked a little bit like they might be the ability to get right and then spin back to the left multiple times. That was the fourth foul against the reserve big Colin Granger, a freshman out of the state of Georgia. As Zimbala misses the free throw, only outlier in that Buffalo vast victory panel. Harden it way off. Vanderplas, the redshirt junior, 6'8", 232 from Ripon, Wisconsin. Jumper missed. Preston coming here. Kick it out, right wing jump down, but couldn't finish himself. Here come the Rockets. The Kunzo from long range, got the heel, no. And Preston has it for the Bobcats. We're under five. Play. 
getting the ball inside and being stronger than the other team. JT Shoemate couldn't finish after the nice pass from Jackson. Now Ohio has it. 43-31 here. And Jackson just going to let one fly from way outside. The thud off the back iron. And Jason Preston and the Ohio Bobcats with the more important without first team all Mac performer Danny Pippen. Bainbridge is going to fire the three, just grazing the front of the rim. So Brain Bainbridge uh, on the of this program. This is Tervel Beck. Santiago got to get going for Kent State. Didn't draw any rim on his three. Ohio's up 10 and or forceful at uh, you know going to the hoop rebounding the basketball but that would help if Giovanni yes. Santiago now that that that's an open look from three that's wasn't defended in the first five minutes of the second Beck's gonna raise up Preston in a hurry Ohio's got mm. numbers for Wilson went junior college at Trinity Valley in Texas Jonathan Williams from Rochester Missed that short, Preston on the rebound. One of the top rebounding guards in the country. He's in Gonzaga and Rutgers, the other two. Nickelberry with the baseball pass. Williams from the foul line, short, and Preston on the rebound. And that's fine, if you get away with them getting a possession from 17. Six, Buffalo hit eight. Ohio had a double digit lead in the first half and then the Bulls came roaring back. Graves for three, and Preston on the rebound. Two of the last three games between these two teams have been tight. Segu right wing three. Rondo misses that. Ronaldo Rondo Segu.